and this lesson will present you with another situation. We want to have one loop as a background, and then a loop should fade in with a different transition. After that, the black of that loop should be keyed out in the same clip, and after that, the loop should fade out with a different transition. First of all, we choose a loop to be put onto layer 1 as a background. We fade up the opacity, set it to play loop and save it to the timeline using store active. We will also set the clip to free run mode. Once we have done that, we can start editing our next clip. We choose layer number two and grab another clip. After that, we'll get the opacity up so that we can actually see something. Since we want to go for a different transition effect, we'll have to find one that's part of the effects that Pandora's box offers. Go to the top and look for the middle tab called Eon Effects, where you will find the folds with all the effects necessary. A bit further down, you'll also see a folder called Transition, where you can find the transition effects effect. Just drag and drop it onto layer 2. As part of this transition effect, you will find a mix fader to activate it and as part of the drop-down window, you have 230 different ways for fading in. We will choose a transition effect that allows us to show that the clip will be faded in differently. All those values should now be saved with a zero opacity value to the timeline. Store active. And now we'll move on two seconds and get the opacity to 255 and save it once more. As a next step, we want for the black to be keyed out. Therefore, we will need another effect, a keying effect. We'll go back to the Eon Effects tab once more and we'll go to the keying folder. This is where we'll find the FX black key which we will then add to layer 2 via drag and drop. We'll save the mix value with a 0 to the timeline and continue to move on another 2 seconds. Now we again fade up the mix fader to 255 and save that to the timeline as well. Since our clip is supposed to fade out with yet another transition effect we'll move on for another 2 seconds. After that We'll activate the opacity value once more so that the opacity status will remain the same until the point that we're aiming at. We choose a different transition effect, save the values to the timeline, then we'll continue on another two seconds, which is where we will fade out the clip with a different transition effect than the one at the beginning. We store active, let us take a look at the clip fading in with the transition effect, the other effect taking place and then the clip fading out with yet another different effect. Let's take a closer look at what we did by opening up the layers so you can take an in-depth look at where the different keys are, how the effects affect our clip and our program show. But actually, since we use rather dark colors, maybe we should change the content for a second so that it's a lot easier to see the actual black keying happening. So let's just quickly change the content at this point. And now you can see the clip fades in with the transition effect in a second. The black is keyed out and the clip fades out with yet another different transition effect.